I'm Emilia Darak. I work as a project developer for the Coral Project. So this is the first marine project of your project and we are developing it in Indonesia, in Bali. So as on most islands, people are really relying on the marine ecosystems for fishing, um, for also coastal protection. So if you have coral reefs, they are breaking up the wave energy. So in case of tsunamis or big storm events, corals are pretty much the trees of the ocean. I mean, in terms of just diversity, people already call them the rainforest or the sea because there was an incredible amount uh, of not only fish, but uh, sponges and uh, snails and other organisms of uh, wide ranges. All over the world, the corals are disappearing uh, due to several factors such as, well, the obvious one is climate change, uh, but also pollution, destructive fishing, um, and Indonesia in particular, destructive fishing has been a big problem. So people have been using dynamite to fish uh, and cyanide, which is a poison to protect the fish alive. But at the end of the day, it completely leaves the reefs destroyed with nothing alive anymore. So what we gotta do, we're gonna build an artificial reef. So these are man-made structures made out of metal and actually could be any, any other material really. And uh, we're gonna put them in the water uh, and transplant small coral fragments on it to help the natural regeneration. And we will work directly with a, a local organization called Pockmaster. This is a community project, so they will completely in charge. Um, they will receive all the training and the skills, the equipment and the infrastructure necessary to um, sustain and uh, this activity and to restore their natural habitat and manage their um, resources. Um, it really makes sense to participate uh, in this project. I know corals are quite far away from people's minds, and especially like if you're sitting in an office, it's not really something you see every day. So it's, um, but it's really important because corals are disappearing rapidly and uh, we are losing huge amounts of biodiversity. So yeah, there is a direct implication and there really is the need to support this, this project to uh, be able to grow it in the future.